Hello again from uh, Habana. We are here on the trade fair again and um, I have with me Jose Miguel Salvador from uh, Chile. He is a well-known uh, cigar expert. He is distributor of Cuban cigars in, uh, in for the Chilean market, right? And even more, he is, um, he is a judge in the Habana Sommelier contest, right? Um, perhaps you can explain what, you're, what you else are doing here uh, at the trade fair, Jose Miguel. Nice to have you here. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much for this uh, interview. Um, I come here every year as I am a permanent judge at the um, Sommelier, Habana Sommelier Contest. Okay. Uh, surprisingly, this year I am also nominated for Habana Man of the Year. And, and, yeah, thank you very much. That was a great surprise for me in the um, communication category. So uh, I also, um, well, I'm here also with you guys because I also uh, have um, a club in Chile. I'm president of a smoking club, cigar smoking club in Chile. So we have a lot of people that is uh, uh, patiently uh, looking for new things, uh, accessories, humidors. So uh, that's a good. Uh, this is a good place to meet uh, to meet people like you guys and um, and to and to uh, learn more about your products. Absolutely. Um, what I what I like to ask you as um, absolutely expert in uh, Cuban cigars, um, why do you uh, or do you prefer to smoke cigars fresh or um, aged, so matured? Okay. Well, the answer of that is uh, depends. Depends, right? Depends on the brand. Um, and depends on your taste. My personal, my personal taste is, uh, my personal experience is that every single cigar, even, even the thin cigars, uh, they go better with time. Uh, but uh, there's, a, there's a point here that I would like to stress, uh, which is that it has to be right. The, the age process has to be well made. It's not just keeping a cigar in a bag uh, or in a box with some water on it. Uh, it has to be controlled, it has to be certificated, and you have to care about it for many years. Yeah. So what is so special about H cigars? Why doing all this uh, work uh, for, uh, for, uh, for enjoyment? So what is so special about H aging cigars and smoking them? Well, first of all, it's like, you know, it's like having a new child at home. You will have to um, care about it, to look at it, to, to uh, worry about it. Uh, it's a process that um, keeps you uh, very um, occupied or worry about some, something that is leave. There's a new, you know, living person at home. Um, what, it, what is good about the, uh, the process? Um, I would say personally that uh, I love the, um, the, um, the taste and aroma that an, a Nate cigar gets uh, over the time uh, is perfect. For example, for strong cigars. When you buy a strong cigar, the line will say flavor is strong, like you know, Porteras, Cohibas, or Ramon Ayones, um, Vegas Robina, that kind of cigars that had they has a bit of uh, you know um, harsh in the in the flavor and um, some uh, astringent. Uh, we call it astringencia in Spanish. Uh, that with time, if you do it well. It, uh, it, it, it diminish, it gets down and down and down. So the cigar and the flavor is very elegant at the end. Um, elegant cigar, elegant flavor, elegant aroma. Uh, you can smoke twi two, two cigars on a, on a row uh, after a, a good aging process. That, that, that is perfect for me. Another thing is that you can pair an aging cigar with almost anything because it opens the uh, uh, it wide opens the uh, the choose the the options you have to pair. Um, that that's a great thing about uh, the also about um, eight cigars. Thank you. Um, so you would recommend um, every cigar, uh, even a cigar novice, to start aging cigars? Oh, definitely. That's uh, what I do in my market. Uh, it changed all the concepts of this hobby. Um, from from somebody that just puff a cigar to somebody that it's getting to a culture mm -hmm. and um, and they will start 
And when, when they realize the difference between a new cigar, a fresh cigar, a junk cigar, uh, with an um, eight cigar, is everything uh, can, comes automatically. Okay. They start doing, they start asking about doing this because they start, you know, um, liking this, uh, this change, you know, this new effect in their smoking experience, I would say. Okay. Great. Um, but I think um, if novices start storing cigars, some things uh, have to be considered. So you can do a, a lot of things wrong, I think. So what to consider when storing cigars? Okay. First thing is um, is to be very careful with the um, with the with the quality of the cigars that you mix in the same box. Um, many times, you uh, the aroma or flavors of uh, of um, I would say not premium cigar w could affect premium cigars if they are stored in the same box for many years. Um, uh, even if the origin of the tobacco is different, I would suggest not to put it in the same box. Um, what else? Um, I would say that uh, the perfect thing for storing cigar, I, I would recommend to uh, do it differently. Um, start to divide your humidor for brands, uh, based on brands, different brands, different years, different origins, um, all together. Not to mix them. Okay. Um, another thing that it should be uh, interesting is to uh, ventilate, to, to, to choose a right device that, that permits you to, uh, the cigars, to be ventilated well. Mm -hmm. To control the exact humidity and, and, and uh, temperature. Uh, sometimes the, some hygrometers, some devices are not really precise, accurate. And if you want to, to keep cigars for many years with a non-accurate device, you know, measuring your humidity, uh, that will, you know, uh, you could lose everything. Yeah, uh, uh, ru ruin the cigars and, ruin, and, 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 and lose the time that you invest in doing this thing. So at the end of the day, many people say, well, you know, I ate the cigar, but it's the same that the young cigar is not good. That is, many of the times, that the reason of what is that you didn't store it well. You didn't, yeah. did the pro you didn't do the process uh, on the right way. Yeah, um, you didn't use the right devices, the um, humidification devices. They have to be a uh, um, good quality thing, not just a sponge. Please, people, don't do that. I mean, don't buy a sponge. I mean, as a, there is a lot of things now in the market at very accessible prices with high quality that you can get easily um, and, and, and that will help you to do the right process, the right storage, the storage process. Um, the, you have to be careful about the, the quality of the humidity. It has to seal well. Please, guys, um, taste, test your humidors when you buy it. Test the, uh, the leads. Uh, they have to seal, period. Um, and, 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 and as I said before, I mean, you have to, to review, to check your cigars frequently. Yeah. This is, a, this is a, like an aquarium at home. I mean, you have to give them, you know, food, you have to look at them. If not, they will, they will die. And if, the, um, and if the cigar dies, you will never recover it again. Well, thanks a lot for your thoughts. It uh, was quite interesting to know how, um, how to get into the cigar, um, um, into the cigar um, stuff and so on. So um, thanks a lot for your time, Thank for you. your thoughts. Uh, I really appreciate that and congratulations again for being nominated. Um, I think we'll, uh, we'll see each other here on the fair. Of course, I hope so. And um, well, thanks a lot, it was a pleasure. Okay, and congratulations to you, for, to you and your team for your mm, wonderful devices and, and, and your passion for doing the things right. Thanks a lot, <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you.